are you listening to? Young Galaxy. Watch out for the skateboard. Play in your cousin's yard. Shut up. Put it on the table. Seems like you're always wearing sandals when you're trying to ollie. So this is Ryan's canoe and he bought it for a hundred dollars? hundred bucks. hundred bucks. And it had this terrible repair going on here. Yeah, it's totally just loose like this. And I literally like I pulled it off with my hand and they had not sanded underneath it so that this resin actually stuck in the right spots. And there was a piece of resin there for no reason. And then the outside gel coat's pretty compromised, but I really, if you just fix little cracks like this and you seal the canoe again and paint it, as long as you're not using it for like canoe sports. Canoe sports. Usually lasts a pretty long time, so we're gonna fill this and fix it properly, as well as mend the outside of the canoe and paint it. And that is the agenda. Just being out this crack, seeing how bad it is, so that we can fill it with fiberglass matting and resin. There's a piece of wood that runs inside of here, uh, but it looks like it's not connected on purpose so that there's some flex. But this should all be joined properly, obviously, so we're going to fill this crack with the uh, matting, the fiberglass matting. And then we are going to do a couple layers on top here to re get the reinforced kind of like as what was here originally. So Ryan, how's your resin going? Oh, it's so resiny. Resonates really good. well with me. Looks really wet. Yeah, I probably overdid it a bit on the saturation, but it looks good though. Yeah, I think this will be totally fine. <laughs> a pretty good hole where that repair there was, was. There was a big crack, yeah. It was cracked, there wasn't a hole, so it's gonna stay weak and we can't just cover it with fiberglass, you have to kind of reinforce it. Yeah, yeah. So we filled these holes with fiberglass on each side. So this is uh, interesting. Now that this is uh, setting up, we're going to kind of V out or scratch down to the, the under the gel coat anything that's uh, any imperfections or cracks because we're going to replace this gel coat with uh, bondo hair or fiberglass uh, filler reinforced with fiberglass filler and uh, when sanded down that should actually look pretty close to this uh, rotten red gel coat also on the inside to cover up the repair we're going to spray this rocker guard stuff from one end to the other and uh, that should cover up all of the fiberglass repairs on the inside so that it doesn't look so shitty. So we're on to day two with this canoe repair and uh, Ryan's not here but I'm going to continue on my merry way because I don't want this canoe in my garage for any length of time. <laughs> So here we are, final day of the canoe fix. This is what we call ghetto canoe fix. Quite ghetto. We tried to spend the least amount of money on this $100 canoe to get the holes repaired and uh, it's going to be this color of blue, sort of, this okay. color of blue, sort of, and uh, we're going to spray paint this motherfucker.
Hi there, Timmy Joe. Canoe is finished, and uh, I gotta say, we kind of chinsed out in the final step. Spray bombing it, not optimal. Definitely recommend using an automotive spray gun, you know, hooked up to an air supply, and putting some real thick single stage paint on this with a sealer, you know, like a, a first step of a sealer. That way you can kind of make sure that this thing's not going to leak or, you know, but uh, Ryan's not going to be using this canoe for much. And it was just more of an aesthetic, you know, fix a few cracks, not spend too much money on a $100 canoe type jobby. So, you know what, I think it turned out pretty good considering the time we spent on it. You know, we have all of the, an afternoon and I have a couple days uh, sanding out some uh, fiberglass filler and stuff like that. Just so you can see on the inside here, we uh, used a rubberized uh, like bed liner, a white stuff, kind of like this, but the white version. Um, and we covered all of the repairs on the inside. The white matched up really well and made it so you don't see this fiberglass repair as easy. And it kind of, you know, ma made it so it'll last a little longer, sealed it out. Uh, kind of went over the whole inside with that white sealer. So, you know, just, it's the little touches. But uh, I'm Timmy Joe on this channel. We do how-tos and reviews and all kinds of stuff like this all the time. Uh, I'd hit the subscribe button, the like button, all that stuff if you like what we did here. If you didn't, tell me in the comments below what we did wrong. I'm Timmy Joe. Hit the subscribe button. Nice to talk to you. I'm going to go in and uh, get the blue paint off my, my nose in here and, you know, go have a shower. So have a nice day. Goodbye. This Canon 70D, a $1,000 camera with lens and microphone. I'll show you my light boxes here. And it came with all the light bulbs, which is really nice to make yourself look like you've got high production value. Another thing is always, uh, you know, having good quality edits. Mm -hmm.